over Luke's shoulder, which means we are just about ready for these weigh-ins to get started. The prelim fighters are going to weigh in first. We're going to send you over to the stage. For anyone who hasn't noticed, Super Fight season has made a triumphant return. But this, this fight, it stands alone. Two of the greatest boxers alive facing off in their primes. Who wins? Not even Vegas can predict. All this screams vintage, classic. And to make it happen, Spence and Crawford sealed the deal with a phone call. How delightfully old school. First time we talked, we talked probably like 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And I just let them know, like, hey, what's up? Let's fight. I've been calling these guys out since 2018. Hey, look, who do you want next? Well, you already know who I want. I feel like I'm the guy that really made it happen. I want to fight Terrence Crawford. I don't want to fight anybody else. On Saturday, July 29th, two undefeated champions will zone in on legacy. This era is the Terrence Crawford era. Definitely not, man. You ain't fought nobody, man. What did I do to Sean Porter that you came You call yourself the big fish, right? But what you do when the fish get took out the water, you suffocate. We gonna roll him up and smoke him. When Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford scrap for an undisputed welterweight crown, they'll have each other. Dance partners in lockstep. Each offering to summon magic, artistry, brilliance, unlike ever before. That's the old school part, the enticing part. Boxing at its most compelling, risk embracing rock'em sock'em best. The truth hurts! When I win this fight, there'll be no argument who's the best fighter in the world. Oh, I, I feel as if I was made for this moment. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Boxing doesn't come much better. For this clash, have the history books ready. Because if those best selves can recall past eras, then old school will, in a way, be refreshingly new. We know what's at stake. May the best man win. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents our official weigh-in for tomorrow's once-in-a-generation event, a battle for undisputed, the truth, Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. It is all brought to you by Man Down Promotions, TBC Promotions, TGB Promotions, and it is being shown live on Showtime Pay-Per-View. It is all sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. Action so good, why bet on boxing anywhere else? O'Reilly Auto Parts is the ultimate one-stop shop for all your automotive supplies. Everything for your vehicle in one convenient place. That's O'Reilly Auto Parts. Brought to you by the new R-rated movie, Strays, in theaters August 18th. And The Legend of Dracula is Born, The Last Voyage of the Demeter, only in theaters August 11th. Now, before we get to our pay-per-view portion of the weigh-in, we have two bouts being streamed on the Showtime social media platforms tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. It's time to introduce those bouts. First up, 10 rounds in the Super Bantam Weights Division. With the record of 28 victories with 23 knockouts, opposite of five defeats and one draw, representing Bago City, Philippines, here is Aston Batang Pasue Palite. And now introducing his opponent, coming to the stage undefeated 12 victories with nine wins by knockout representing Tijuana Baja California Mexico here is Jose Salas El Chapulín Reyes And 
And now first up onto the scale once again from the Philippines, Aston Palite. One twenty three point four, one twenty three point four pounds for Palite. And now introducing his opponent coming to the scale once again out of Mexico, Jose Salas El Chapulín Reyes. One twenty one point six, one twenty one point six pounds for Reyes. Jimmy Lennon Jr. couple of fights there on the prelims, Luke, that we're looking forward to, to being involved in and calling the action in those. Uh, do you expect both of those fights to go the distance? I do not. I think we're going to get a stoppage. Steve Nelson looks like he's in uh, strong command as well as Jose Salas. He looked tremendous on the mm -hmm. scales. I think they're going to do some damage tomorrow. Lower abs are popping, weren't they? Uh, the main attraction, of course, is Errol Spence against Terence Crawford. All the fighters uh, on that card will be weighing in shortly. But let's just preview what we're about to see here. Uh, I, I guess I'm interested. You know, we got two top top five pound for pound fighters, undefeated fighters. The, the tension that these guys have to be feeling right now is before they're coming up, the 24-hour period before tomorrow goes down. It's a difficult period in time, right? It is, but we're talking about two of the most skilled, experienced operators in the game. I mean, they're, they're pound for pound talents because of what they can do in the boxing ring, yes, but in order to get yourself to this, you have to guide your career. You have to guide everything professionally. And of course, Errol Spence has made some errors in that regard, some very, very visible ones, but I'm just saying, there, this is the last chance to send a message to your opponent, but... Spence Jr. versus Terrence by Nick Crawford, one of the best boxers on earth. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This is on pool. Who the best fighter in the world is? There's only one in the end. Ain't no holding me back. Only one crown. This error. Only one can win. This is the Terrence Crawford error. There's only one crown. Terrence, I'm coming for that motherfucking bell. the two best welterweights on the planet. It's these two guys by a country mile. There is only one thing left to find out. This is where it all begins. Who is number one? Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the official weigh-in for our big night of action, the highly anticipated pay-per-view feast brought to you by Man Down Promotions, TBC Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime Pay-Per-View. Well, fans, at this time, we bring our fighters to the stage for our opening pay-per-view attraction. First, please welcome from Torre La Vega in Spain. He is the world rank contender. Please welcome El Nino Sergio Garcia. And we invite his opponent to the stage at this time, fighting out of Stafford, Texas, by way of Cuba. Please welcome the undefeated, fast-rising Cuban standout, Joannis Bandolero Tellez. Well, it looks like our fighters are ready to step onto the scale. We'll bring them to the scale at this time in this 10-round super welterweight attraction. First, with a record of 34 and 2 with 14 knockouts, he's the battle-tested WBC number 7 rank contender, El Nino Sergio Garcia.
Sergio Garcia weighs in at 155 and a half pounds, 155 and a half. And now we invite his opponent to the scale with a record of five wins, no losses. He has four wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome, making his Showtime debut, Yoenis Bandolero Tellez. Ioannis Tejas weighs in at 155 and a half pounds, 155 and one half pounds. <laughs> there they are, ladies and gentlemen, opening up our pay-per-view. Super welterweight attraction, 10 rounds. Yoani Seyes taking on Sergio Garcia. Commencing tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Attraction, it is our first world title attraction. We invite our fighters to the stage at this time. Madam waits in the ring. First from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He's the former world title challenger. Please welcome Alex Santiago. And now we invite his opponent to the stage, fighting out of his home now of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of the Philippines. He is the renowned four-division champion of the world, the current WBC number one ranked bantamweight, introducing Nonito Donaire. Well, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Bantamweight Championship of the World. First to the scale. Once again, the weight limit is a very strict 118 pounds. Now to the scale with a record of 27, 3, and 5 with 14 knockouts. He is ranked the WBC number 3 Bantamweight in the world, making his second attempt at a world title, Alex Santiago. One hundred seventeen and one half pounds, one seventeen and a half for Alex Santiago. And now his opponent to the scale with a record of forty two wins, seven losses, twenty eight wins by knockout. Here is the four division world champion, the future Hall of Famer, Nonito Donaire. 117 and one quarter pounds, 117 and a quarter for Nonito Donaire. He has 40 years of age, still, still letting people know they can catch these hands. Amazing to see what he's capable of doing. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the first of our world title attractions, WBC Bantamweight Championship of the World, Nonito Donaire versus Alex Santiago. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to hear from our fighters in this Bantamweight world title attraction, we have renowned combat sports host, Ariel Helwani.